All right, coming up next, the matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. significant title in combat sports, no argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with big differences in height and reach. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Assassin. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC. Heavyweight champion of the world, Super! All right, this is for the championship. You begin your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. The fighters touch him up. Ready. So two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about the defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Oh, collar tie. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Beautiful body. Got clip with the right hand. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Whiffs on that offering. All right, single collar tie now. And they're exchanging leather early. 
Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Outstanding knee to the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind the jab. Oh, he hurt badly the jab. Straight right hand now just misses. And they separate. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Oh, that's a good right hand. And they separate. Beautiful head kick. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Visibly limping here. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. to a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Nice punch man over the top. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Just misses there with the left. Nice job with that follow-up shot as well. Missed with that right hand. Back and forth we go! Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Good punch. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. And he landed the right hand there. And they separate. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Try to establish that jab. And they separate. Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. Take shot now. Take shot. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Nice counter right hand lands for him. Sneaky head kick. Able to check the high kick. Oh, switch kick lands for him now. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Final seconds here of round one. Second round, straight ahead. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. Well, he certainly added to his highlight reel in that previous round, DC. A lot of effective kicks there to the body. And he did a great job of setting up those kicks. He's not throwing blind body kicks. He's not just throwing the kick. He's throwing it behind jabs. He's throwing it behind punches, making his opponent think high, and then blasting that kick right into his opponent's body. All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. You've got to think at some point the opposition is going to lower that guard or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage from the opponent will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. Oh, really making good.
good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. And just misses with that big right hand. He's in the clinch. This is one of his strongest spots. How does he proceed? Good stick. And there comes the separation now. Left hand punch from the clinch. Nice kick to the body. So there it is. Longer reach paying dividends as he counters with a punch. Oh, connects with another uppercut. So that's been the weapon of choice, and he went back to it there and lands. Over and over again, he has thrown that punch, and it's because he feels comfortable there. He does not feel like his opponent can return anything because he's popping his head up every time he lands that nice uppercut. Got the straight holly tie. Pretty good right hand. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. He's hurt bad. This dude needs to grab. He needs to wrestle. He has to do something. He cannot take another shot like that. Some nice back and forth action here. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. <laughs> Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind him. Nice one-two there. Time the shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Big body kick Ooh, what a punch. Nice one, two there. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Left hand punch. punch. This young man lands this particular punch. Look at him with his hips to that kick. Man, look at the redness now almost immediately on the right side of his body. Oh, nice right hand. Back and forth we go here. Just unable to quite find that range. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Oh, he lands another hook there. He's already landed several in the round. That one might have been the cleanest of the bunch. He turned his chin, made his chin touch his shoulder with that beautiful right. hook. He really got all of himself into that hook, pivoted off the right hand. Big left hook lands. What a great punch. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the take, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that chip. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Big kick. Single collar tie now. Oh, nice right hand. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Ten seconds remain in round two. Nice job staying busy here on the clinch. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, so there's the end of the round, and we will continue to keep an eye on the cut on the nose. That thing is only getting worse. And again, you got to get that guard up, and even when he does, it seems like the strikes are getting through. That is a significant cut now on the bridge of his nose.
All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Big kick lands. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. And a nice left hand there on the inside. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Big leg kick land. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. I don't think he held it. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Nice. And forth we go. Oh, a huge block there. Planting right hand lands upstairs. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Kick to the outside of that loop leg door there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. All right, so new round, same narrative as he continues to land that hook, and I'm just not sure how many more his opponent can take. His opponent will not be able to take many. In the previous round, he took a number of the same exact strikes, and now you can see it starting to truly wear on him. Great punch landed with so much power. Nice head kick. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Knee to the body. Would you look at the size of that bruise on his torso? Nasty. Nice body kick. and change to go in round three. Nice hammer fist. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop it. you got to defend. But you can see him now start the game posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the pitch. Flips the left hand. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. And he connects there. This is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. A oh, little single collar tie there. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Shots landing on both sides here. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Just missed with the straight left hand. Oh, that's a nice 
strike. Let's go, let's get Final there. seconds here. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot. He will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. Nice defense there, huge block. up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Ooh, what a punch. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Well, to the left side. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Real nice body kick. Oh, oh, oh. As effective as straight punches we've seen all night. if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched glove. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. And both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart one guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at one minute, 11 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. So we hear and still tonight, our UFC heavyweight champion came in with a lot of pressure, a lot of height, and he successfully defends the title here tonight. With all that pressure, he never changes his approach. He always does exactly what he says he's going to do, and he remains the champion 